Hey everybody, welcome to Simple, Cheap, and Easy DIYs by Simple DIYer. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. As always, you can check the description box for the list of items used. In today's video, we're going to be making this laundry room decor piece. First, we're going to start off with six of these little 3D type picture frames. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut the back off. I'm going to remove the backing, the sequence that's on the inside, as well as the little hang up ties. Next, I'm going to take a razor blade and just carefully scrape off the letters. Now, I do believe that acetone nail polish remover will also take off the letters. And this is what the frame should look like once you have all the wording removed. Next, I'm going to take these canvases that were left over from a previous project and I'm just going to take the back of the frame and cut the canvases to fit. Now taking hot glue, I'm just going to go ahead and glue the canvases onto each of the backings. And this is what they should look like once you have them all completed. Now I'm just going to take this baker's twine and go ahead and cut it to the length of the frame. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the hot glue and just apply it to each of the side of the frames as you can see me doing here. Next, taking this Barbie shirt and some mini clothespins, I'm going to go ahead and just clothespin that onto the little uh, laundry line that we made. Once you have that done, you'll just go ahead and replace the backing back on the frame. And this is what it should look like. Now taking a second frame, we're going to go ahead and repeat the same steps as the first frame. The only thing different is on this one, we're going to be using a pair of Barbie shorts to hang up and then everything else will be the same. Now taking these puffy stickers, I'm just going to go ahead and spell out wash, dry, and fold. And using this burnt umber and the apple barrel paint color, I'm going to go ahead and paint all of the letters. Taking three of the frames, I'm just going to spell out wash on one, dry on the second, and fold on the third. And I'm just going to go ahead and spell those out diagonally. Once that's completed, you'll just go ahead and place the backing on all three frames.
the last frame we're just going to go ahead and put the baker's twine and some mini clothespins once you have the mini clothespins on you'll just go ahead and put the back on the frame Now you'll want to go ahead and lay out the frames like I'm doing. I'm going to do the wash, the clothespins, the shirt, dry, fold, and then the shorts. Now I'm going to go ahead and super glue these together so they hold a little bit more sturdy, but you can do a super glue, an E6000, or a hot glue. Um, either of those options will work. Now for a little bit more of a stronger hold, I'm gonna take this duct tape and I'm just gonna duct tape the back of the frame. Now taking some foam board, I'm gonna cut that to five inches in height and about 13 inches in width. The width will be the width of the frames. And then I'm gonna take these poster stickers and spell out laundry room and paint those in burnt umber. Once the stickers are fully dry, I'm gonna go ahead and spell out laundry room onto the foam board we just cut. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and seal it using this Mod Podge. Taking a bamboo skewer, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut two pieces that are two and a half inches in length. And I'm gonna take this baker's twine and I'm gonna glue that above the word room and take the two skewers and glue that to the side to make it look like a clothesline. Taking some of the mini clothespins, I'm gonna go ahead and pin those to the baker's twine above the letters to make it look like they're holding the letters up. And then I'll just go ahead and glue those into place. Once you have the sign completed, you're gonna go ahead and glue that to the top of the frames. And this is what the completed laundry room sign will look like. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you can give it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can see every time that I upload a new video. As always, you can leave me a comment below and let me know what you wanna see next. Until next time, have a great day.